Oh my We're all hot fire Ooh, mouths. Yeah, I know. <laughs> we shouldn't breathe on each other. Or, or, I just had a minute. <laughs> Orly is here. She's doing chromatography bags. Did I say that right? Chromatography. Yeah, chromatography. Chromatography bags. Um, wonderful DIY. Were you inspired by somebody? A little, a little someone named Dan Kohler. I saw Smartest that. Smartest person any of us know in real yes. life. Wow. Um, yeah, Dan just a couple days ago. He did the whole segment on the science behind I chromatography. That was so fascinating. And I was watching it on the monitor and asked him, there it is, and I asked him, like, is there, like, could I do this with a craft, with a project yeah. of some sort? And he said that we could do it on canvas. Can, just, we're, we're seeing it happen, but can That's you remind lapse, everybody what yes. chromatography actually is? Me or Dan? You. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I, I thought you were gonna, I was like, are we gonna see Dan? Dan um, is joining us via FaceTime now. <laughs> so basically, um, the colors all move at a different speed, is the way that he explained mm -hmm. it. And so when you use a medium like either the chromatography paper or canvas, and then you put alcohol on it or water on it, it sort of dissipates the colors and they all move at a different speed it's and they so separate. Cool. So it kind of so bleeds? Does yeah, it, yeah, yeah. it bleeds and, and you don't really, re like I didn't realize that black was made up of all the blue and sort of a little bit yeah, of brown really and all those different they're colors. They're all hiding in black. They're hiding oh, yeah. inside to create those colors. And so it's really interesting because this is now a craft we could do with our kids where they can create something, but then there's a little bit of a science lesson yeah. in there. So sure. fun. And you actually did do it with... Yeah, with <laughs> yeah so Connor. last night I asked Connor and he was very excited because I was like, you see this marker? You can draw all you over this color bag. all inside. <laughs> and this is the inside? That's inside. Get the white. Oh, yes. my gosh. Okay. Oh. oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. You inside the white part. And then we're going to do something really cool. Okay. Blake putting on Connor's shoes in the back. Oh, my gosh. Oh. <laughs> Look at her. Oh, my gosh. Stop it. All day long. Hi, Blake. Blakey, look at me. Blakey, look at me. Oh. <laughs> and then he took the eyedropper. Oh, my God. That child is just oh, dropped. Oh. <laughs> oh, my God. So he had so much fun doing it. And then and then I was like, and so here, I did it with oh, the yes. Sharpie, so this one looks a little different. It actually <laughs> looks kind of like abstract. It really it does. It feels like a doesn't yeah. it? Right. So because, this was actually a good lesson. Because we I used a Sharpie, a Sharpie is actually considered a permanent marker. So mm -hmm. it's going to move and bleed less. Oh. I learned from this and realized, wait, this isn't as many colors as I thought I was going to get out of it. It's because I used a Sharpie. So your son taught so, you something, did he? Connor yeah. taught me a little something. <laughs> so what you want to do is actually use like these washable Crayola markers. Okay, and they'll run. Yes, and it looks like black really runs sort of best. So what I did was I just created some polka dots and I just eyeballed it. You kind of stagger when you want to do polka dots. This kind of reminds me of, as a kid, we used to, in Australia, like tie dye tops. Tie dye, so yeah. And you put the elastic bands yes. around them and then you dye them. Oh, we very did much exactly. like that. Cool. that was it, so it's, fun. This is sort of like a discovery project, too, where you don't know what's going to be the outcome. Yes, what's yes. going to happen. And, yeah. and what's nice about it is that you don't actually want to be really perfect with it because it's going to all bleed anyway. So yeah. you would destroy any, so you don't have to be perfect to start. Like, my polka dots don't have to be symmetrical. They or, look pretty amazing, though. They look yeah, pretty she's symmetrical. Great. Oh, okay. but, don't let but her fool <laughs> Be perfect. Exactly, sir. Oh, so yeah, so should, if, the we, blue. Yep. if we use more alcohol, will the colors bleed? More? It'll yeah, it'll bleed a little more, and you'll see like if I do let's say one and let it kind of since it's angled here run where the alcohol is running down, you'll get like a line. Like if you look for example ah. on the big the bag that was already done, the hero, you can see. Like this is where the alcohol kind of dripped down. So it created these shapes because it was like a pool of alcohol and then the color sort of goes Man. into the alcohol. Like peacock feathers. Yeah, so, beautiful. so you can like this, you could just do this little sort of fuzzed out bleeding. If you want just a little, you can do a lot and sort of pour and let it drip down and it'll create a whole different vibe. So I know then it'll probably change colors quite a bit because Dan had said black is the color yeah. that has the most, most colors in it. In it. So yeah. if you keep everything. letting it bleed, it'll have everything will come out. Exactly. So you can really let it go. And, and what I learned was that if you use water, water works with a chromatography paper, but not with the canvas. Right. So if you want to get the color, right. you need to use alcohol and you can use an eyedropper. I just use the lid. You know, you okay, don't need to so get anything fancy. Canvas, any other fabrics you could use? I think you could do it on like a t shirt. Anything. I don't see yeah, why you couldn't do it on a cotton awesome. t shirt yeah. and create like a cool pattern or even write like a name and then drop right. it so the oh name gosh. gets all blurred out. You could do a lot. What a great idea. Now, will the colors bleed through to the other side though? Yes. So, will you turn around the rainbow one? Oh, I, oh, love I like that. that. 
Exactly. So that. if you don't want that, and maybe the back has a graphic or a name or something on it that you don't want to bleed through, make sure you put something protective, a piece of cardboard or something that's gonna uh -huh. prevent it from seeping through. But otherwise you are gonna get, and you can't quite control the seep through. Like actually, we turn around the blue one. Yeah. That one didn't seep actually, through. Actually at this point I gotta start charging. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah.